We're heading north from Paris by train on a day trip that will take us up to the cathedral town of Amiens and then on to the beautiful Normandy city of Rouen. It's really quite easy to get to Amiens from Paris. It's just about one hour and 10 minutes by train. And there are direct trains that go straight there. So it's really simple. And you'll be there in the morning. We're walking down the main pedestrian mall of the modern part of the city, but we're heading into the old town. And in particular, we've come here to see the great cathedral. The Amiens Cathedral is the largest Gothic cathedral in all of France. And France is where the Gothic style originated. So this is really one special cathedral. It has the typical Gothic facade with the three main portals with a rich abundance of statues lining each of those three portals for the typical Gothic arches. Here's some young students out front. They're young French students out for a day trip and a learning excursion to the cathedral with their teachers. We noticed they were very well behaved. The front of the cathedral is dripping with great statues and the interior is just immense. It's 42 meters high. There are some Baroque elements inside, but primarily we're looking at a Gothic cathedral. First construction began around the year 1220 AD. So it's quite early in the Gothic period. And these students make it look even bigger. The church is 70 meters across at its widest point. That's like 220 feet. And the length is 145 meters. More than a football field and a half in length. It has beautiful stained glass windows on the front and on the transepts. One of the real artistic treasures inside the church is this series of high relief wooden carvings depicting the life of John the Baptist. These were carved in the 1530s and they still show the original painting and the tint. There's also the head of John the Baptist as a relic inside this cathedral. The largest Gothic church in all of France, the total area is 7,700 square meters. It is just phenomenal. And you get this great feeling of light and air on the interior. St. Sebastian, one of the many saints depicted inside in sculpture and in paintings. Beautiful pulpit from which the priest could preach out to all of the congregation. The exterior mirrors the interior in its grand style. And the apse, the rear part of the church, is also very spectacular as seen from the park nearby. Also adjacent to the cathedral is the Old Town of Amiens. The Old Town of Amiens is called saint Lou or the Little Venice of the North. There's a series of canals and branches from the River Somme. In the Middle Ages, this was an industrial town with water mills for the weavers and the dyers and the tanners and the millers. And some of the buildings from the Middle Ages are still standing. So it makes a nice little diversionary walk. And then back down through the modern part of town, a pedestrian promenade that will lead you back to the train station. All in all, your visit to Amiens will take you two to three hours, primarily again for that great cathedral. And while you're there, have a look at the old town and the modern pedestrian downtown. Continuing our excursion through Normandy by train, the good news is there is direct train service between Amiens and our next city, Rouen. It only takes about an hour and it's a very nice train, quite modern. However, there are only a couple of departures each day in the midday period. There are some in the morning and some in the evening rush hour, but if you're going in midday as we are, be careful to look at the schedule so that you get to the station at the right time. It's a quick journey through pleasant countryside, and we soon arrive in the wonderful city of Rouen. This is the capital of Normandy, one of the most important cities in the country, and certainly one of the most historic. 
a rich history that goes back for 2,000 years, starting with the Romans. You can see a lot of half-timbered buildings. You'll want to take a lot of pictures while you're here. Probably the largest collection of half-timbered medieval buildings in all of France. And it's easy to explore on foot. The train station is right at the edge of this old town. So you simply start walking and you'll go through block after block of these picturesque buildings. Snapping away, well, the pictures all tend to look alike after a little while, but you will really enjoy the sights. The most famous historical event that happened here was the burning of Joan of Arc at the stake. And this modern memorial commemorates the spot with the modern church built in the 1970s. It was part of the ongoing wars between England and France. And this territory went back and forth from English hands to French hands. And in the mid 15th century, England conquered the area between 1419 and 1449. England held on to it, and that's when Joan was taken prisoner and executed. Well, the center of town is really a charming spot to be walking around. We'll show you some of the historic landmarks, such as the City Hall, Hotel de Ville. But really, I think the main charm is simply walking these pleasant pedestrian streets and doing some window shopping, or perhaps some real shopping. There are block after block after block that are just for pedestrians and always lined with these incredible historic buildings. There's been a lot of destruction in Rouen over the centuries, much warfare. Most recently in World War II, quite a bit of the city near the riverfront was damaged, but it's been rebuilt. And in the central part here near the cathedral, it is very intact with a lot of modern shops in the facades of these ancient buildings. It's really quite the contrast. We're in the cathedral precinct now. There's a wide modern pedestrian shopping mall that leads you right to the wonderful Gothic Cathedral, first built in the 12th century. Famous as a subject of the great painter Monet during the Impressionist period, he painted 30 paintings of the Rouen Cathedral. Interior typical Gothic edifice. It's just a charming city with street entertainment. There are other historic attractions. There are several museums, an art museum. And during the winter, as we're here in December, there's an ice skating rink out in front of the cathedral. This is one of the main squares of town, obviously. The Place de la Cathedral. You can visit the tourist information office right here on the main square and pick up some free brochures. They've got a very nice walking tour guide brochure map that's all free and follow the routings. You'll go down the street of the big clock. This is one of the really famous landmarks in Rouen and the main street in front of the cathedral will be leading you right down to it. The big clock is the most recognizable landmark in Rouen. It goes back to the 14th century. It was moved to its present location in 1527 when that arch was specially constructed for it, moved over from the nearby tower. And more pedestrian lanes continue through the heart of town, passing the tower that Joan of Arc was held prisoner in before her execution on our way back to the train station as we continue our journey through Normandy by train 